Sarah passes away at age 127 in Hebron, and Avram cries and mourns her. The sons of Chet offer Avram to bury Sarah anywhere he'd like, but he insists on buying a field with a cave from Ephron for 400 silver shekels. Avram buries Sarah in Me'arat HaMachpila. Avram makes his servant Eliezer swear by putting his hand under Avram's thigh that he won't let Yitzchak marry a woman from Canaan, and that he'll go to Haran and bring a woman from Avraham's family. Avram promises him that God will send him an angel to help him, and points out that if no woman will agree to come, he's freed of his oath, but Yitzchak must stay in Canaan. Eliezer leaves with ten camels and many riches to Haran, and arrives at night at the public well. Eliezer asks for a sign from God, when he'll ask a woman to drink, and she'll offer to water all his camels too, she is the woman meant for Yitzchak. The beautiful Rivka arrives at the well and waters all the camels. Eliezer gives her jewelry and she tells him that she's from Avram's family and invites him home. Rivka tells her family what happened and Lavan, her brother, runs to the well and invites Eliezer to stay with them to wash and dine. Eliezer insists first to tell them about his mission and how the sign came true, and Rivka watered all his camels. Rivka's family agreed to the marriage, and Eliezer gives Rivka and them presents. Eliezer insists to leave upon mourning, despite the family's delays. Rivka agrees to leave immediately, and they bless her with fertility and protection. Yitzchak is out in the field, and Rivka sees him and falls from the camel and covers up. Yitzchak brings Rivka to his mother's tent, marries her, and is consoled over his mother's death. Avram marries a woman named Ketura and has more children, which he sends to the east with gifts, but all his property he bestows upon Yitzchak. Avram passes away and he is buried in Me'arat by his sons Yitzchak and Ishmael.